I've already shuffled. We'll be taking a look at the present time, how your person sees you, how you see them, and why it's happening. Just keep in mind the roles can be switched. They see you could be you see them. So just take that for whatever way resonates with you. So Scorpio, I'm getting an interesting energy for for a lot of you coming up towards the end of June is that, or it could go to, towards July. I'm getting that there's um, some situation that you might try to block, or a person you might try to block. You could be avoiding someone. Yeah. You just, you might even ghost this person. Or this could be happening to you. But let's take a look at the reading and let's see what's going on with, with this situation here. So for the present time, which is towards the end of June, we got the King of Wands and we got the Devil card. Now the King of Wands it indicates a man. He could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Uh, this person might want to be a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a very positive card in the tarot. Even when he does not represent the actual person, it signifies that there's a lot of people around you who are supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you might start to feel ambitious and goal-oriented and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in mind. Now this King of Wands is with the Devil card. Just know that with um, the Devil card, no matter what your situation is, there's always options to choose, choose from. First things first, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to it on your own. Regardless, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. Now, you may have some feelings now that you're not in control of your life, and sometimes this could happen as a result of your own actions, but more often... It's a byproduct of inaction, so make sure you take action, whatever steps you can, to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control, even if that's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner, because small baby steps, they're important too. So, we got this devil card and the king of wands, when you when they're paired together, the devil card, it could, it could mean a few things. It could mean that you feel trapped in a situation. You could be feel trapped. Um, you, and, you and your person, both of you may feel like you've gotten to a point where you feel trapped in the connection. You can feel like you have addictions. Materialism is addictions. Some other addictions, sexual lust, greed, envy, addictions. Or you could just have devil energy, like a troll. Those trolls who bother people for no reason at all. That's devil, that's devil energy. Addictions, alcohol, alcoholism. Things that uh, you feel like you're not in control of and they just seem to mess things up. Mess your life up mess up good things, mess up the connection. Um, but then you've got some support here with the King of Wands. Someone has very caring and protective feelings about you. Now this could be you or your person with this devil energy and the, the King of Wands feeling very caring and protective. But we'll take a look at the rest of the reading and uh, we'll clarify these two cards in a few minutes. So, for now, we'll move on over and take a look at how your person sees you. Now, they see you like the hangman and the hierophant. The hangman shows that you're at a crossroads. One with only two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could find that you're wanting to do something, but you got no idea of how to do it. Or what it is you want to do. And if this does happen, it's a sign that you should stop, relax, take a look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations or maybe people or things. It could be possible that there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. 
all in all, this should be a thoughtful, very reflective time. And, well, yeah, it should be thoughtful, reflective. I would say, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. So, um, they see you confused here. You need to let go of something so that you're not so stuck in your head. Maybe let go of an outdated attitude or an, an outdated way of thinking because it's causing you to be confused. Um, yeah, you're not sure up or down, yes or no. Maybe you need to let go of a, of a particular kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. So this is what this is one of the ways they see you. Now they also see you like the Hierophant, which is a very moral, ethical, traditional type. You could be searching for the meaning of life. You're considered to be a great, loyal friend. When this type of person is called on for help or advice with some important matters, their intelligence and empathy puts them in a position to provide a whole lot of support. So... This type is also quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers, marked by integrity. Quite frankly, the Hierophant, yeah, they're the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk and they talk the talk and they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. When it's talking about... Um, love and relationships and you get the higher front and if you're asking about how your current partner is feeling just know that they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken and this is also how they see you like the higher front um, they can feel that you you're searching for a truth you're searching for honesty you want um, this connection connection to be more genuine and they can see you also as maybe spiritual traditional but you're um, confused you don't know what to do about this situation so let's take a look at how you see them so you see them like this five of cups and you see them like the tower Five of Cups is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what will you choose to focus on? Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that you have to watch where you put your focus and make sure the focus is for your highest good. So you see them having some disappointment. Maybe trying to make a decision. Should you, should you, um, should they focus on the bad or focus on the good? Because there, there's some disappointment here. Could be lost, regret, feelings of abandon, feelings of um, abandonment, feelings of um, being unloved. That's how you see them. But overall, this is about disappointment. Now it's with the tower card and the tower card. It's about trying to hold too, too tightly to the status quo. It can be a disaster if you do that, you know. Because you have to roll with the changes. It's likely that some people, situations that you counted on has been there for you. They may no longer be there in quite the same way. And this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change is the nature of life. And if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some come crashing down. But that's only going to be a problem if you let it be. Because you can replace them. Yep, you can replace them with some more realistic and reachable goals and dreams. If some of them do come falling apart this month. So, you also see them having some type of tower moment. Something falls apart. And, and they could be enlightened by this disaster. They are finally awakened by what came crashing down. Yep. Something falls apart. And they're disappointed. So, let's take a look at why it's happening. 
Now we got this chariot and we got the two of swords. The chariot, it's indicated a lot of energy. The chariot goes really, really fast. Maybe a hundred miles an hour. So it's about a lot of energy. But it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed control and it has a goal in mind. So when this kind of appears, you could uh, be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve. You're clear on that and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Uh, this card is also about determination, ambition. It's about getting things done and testing and proving that you got what it takes. So it's a it is a sign that you should move forward with what you have in mind and what's in your heart and give it your best shot. But you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart to be successful. So it's possible that something... Um, went too far too fast or your person could have been pressuring you this way something may have gotten out of hand because it just went too far too fast maybe you two jumped into this connection right away without getting a chance to know each other that's possible with the chariot here now the two of swords it tells us it's, it's paired with the two of swords the card that's below why it's happening it tells us that your partnerships are probably going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, business, when you get the Two of Swords. But you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. And if you're not, it's probably time to bring things back into balance. The Two of Swords, it also means that um, it could be, you could it could mean that you're putting a blindfold over your eyes and you're ignoring some warning signs. Or it could mean that you um, you might just choose to block someone. Or you might choose to avoid someone or avoid a situation. So let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So, Scorpio, as I mentioned, your person, um, they see you um, wanting, uh, maybe you're connecting with your spiritual side, you're, you're stuck in your head, you're confused, um, you see them as, um, th this person has some addictions here. Yeah, they have addictions. And uh, they're disappointed because uh, it looks like something comes crashing down. It could be this connection between you and them. It just seems like it's falling apart or it's fault. it has fallen apart. And they're disappointed. But it looks like some addictions probably got in the way. And um, it looks like um, because the King of Wands is here, this person, they had really caring and protective feelings for you. So they're, they're very shaken up by this connection that seems like it's falling apart. And they feel like, like it's falling apart because... They see that you're confused. And that you could be searching for something else that's more um, that's more that's more like you without addictions. That's more like the Hierophant more, what I try to say, um, more genuine, more loyal, without so many addictions, you don't want the addictions. You don't want to deal with anyone who's got those type of addictions. And um, it looks like this connection, it comes crashing down. They're not happy. They're trying to figure out what to do. 
you guys probably just jumped into this connection without getting to know each other and things went really fast this person has caring and protective feelings towards you so they may it looks like they're going to continue to reach out to you and it looks like you're going to block them yeah you'll be blocking and avoiding this person so they're not happy um you're confused and you're realizing that this is this is not the type of person that you want to deal with. You want someone who's more maybe spiritually grounded without all the addictions. Yeah, so King of Wands here, this person cares a lot about you. They don't want to see you choose another path. But it looks like you're going to block and avoid this person. The addictions are too much. They're too much for you to handle. So that's a reading that I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended. I'll put a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Scorpio, thank you so very much for for watching. Please hit the uh, like button, the notification bell. Come back and check out the next reading if this didn't resonate. Maybe the next one will, and it will be for the month of July, which will be uh, your reading. Your next reading is in about another four or five days. So I hope that all is well for all of you Scorpios, and I hope that uh, you have a great day. I hope that July is, um, and hope that June and July is a great month for you, and. I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care. Take care. Take care.